right, hey everybody, and welcome back to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott, and I've got a match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This is the Kyber Cup. This match between Netter and VP1613. We're just going to call him VP. Uh, this is the top 16. First round of the cut. Netter's 4-1. and one. VP is the last undefeated at 5-0. With a very unconventional list, he's flying three Nave Squadron Escorts, generic E-Wings, with R3 Astromechs and fire control system. They do have experimental scanners, allows them to lock ships beyond range three. So let's see, who's he gone for? Seven Sister and this blue Phantom. He's also got Zeb in the attack shuttle. It's a nice 35 points. Three dice out the front, plus the turret arc currently pointed to the right. On the other side, Netter has flown this list a lot on the stream. So people may be familiar with it. Two crack shot passive sensor TIE Phantoms. Fifth brother with F uh, FCS, fire control system, and homing missiles. Naked seven sister. Alright, decloak. Both of the phantoms. Decloak and forward. Stygium array evades. E wings. Moving up, taking focuses. There is a nice empty space here. Um, small rock, but for the most part, a lot of space. I think that's probably better for Netter, since his, sh his ships move last. It's good for staying in formation, but it's bad if you're going against ships that move after you and can arc dodge. If you can fit them into confined spaces, at least you can anticipate their movement a little bit better. Bank in from the Phantoms. Back to Dials. <laughs> Jagged. First time betting on anything. Hey man, welcome to a, uh, a new obsession get invested in the game you got credits on the line at the end of the month viewers with the most credits get actual x-wing prizes probably gonna see these phantoms move forward they're gonna find a nice flank We'll see how VP deals with that. Alright, system phase, decloaks, going forward. Ooh, to the right. On the pink phantom. There are the evades. T 
two forward from the red E-wing. I imagine that's what's that's what everyone's gonna be doing. Thinking about moving the lock. He knows he's got a relatively free turn to do that. And with these early target locks from things like Jinden and experimental scanners, you can kind of show your hand uh, about what you want to shoot at. It allows the other player to uh, kind of kite, move those ships away, engage first with the others. So switching it up like this can kind of, can possibly change how Netter wants to engage. <laughs> discussion about the uh, the betting. Yeah, I don't, I don't like unlimited bets because I think it leads to some people getting sort of insurmountable leads, right? Oh, Tron. Wow. Wow. I don't think I can ever forgive that. Decloaks from the Phantoms. Ooh, K turns. From the E-Wings, they are not going to allow a flank here. Seven sister moves up, tries to boost, can't complete, blocks fifth brother in. And I think the E wings very happy to let these Imperials flounder out here, bump into each other, get out of position. Let's take a look. These are not R four E wings, so they don't have quite as many blues as they could have. Could just one bank. No shame in that. Alright, decloaks from the phantoms, left and backwards from blue, left and backwards from pink, there's the evades, there's the one banks.
Keeps the formation going here for the E-Wings. Goes for a focus here. No shots. Back to dials. Hmm. Well, I don't think you want to just sit in front of the E-Wings, but Netter's kind of put himself into a corner where that's basically what he's got to do. Even if he wanted to, could he? Yeah, I think he could be. He could decloak this direction. I don't think he's going to. I think he's going to decloak left and backwards. Maybe one bank. One bank. Maybe a one bank. Alright, system, decloaks. Yeah, that's about what we were expecting. Daryl asking about magnifying. Nope, that's just uh, just the M key. It's part of TTS. M for magnify. Yep, there's the one forward to victory. It's called out in the chat. Here's the one banks from the Phantoms. They're just gonna duke it out. Looking for a lock from Fifth Brother. Puts it on the green E-Wing. Alright, everybody's going to shoot into this green E-Wing. 3v4. Take it on the shields. What is this thing? 
One hit. Two evades. Just two dice, primary. One crit. Needs two evades to avoid the crack. Spins it. Oop. Nope, just takes it, okay. That's half points on green. Homing missile from blue. From uh, Fifth Brother. I imagine you make him roll it. One hit so far. Gonna spin the lock. It's a pretty lucky roll so far. For Oh, for the E-Wings. Spins a force for two. Yeah, that was uh, that was very favorable for the E-wing. Spins the focus. Two evades. crack on seven sister well when there's two force points at least uh zeb gonna start us off so you're gonna shoot into the pink phantom zeb spins it for three phantom spins the focus for three No shots for the yellow E-Wing. Hit crit crit. Those are natties. One evade. Takes the two shields. On the pink phantom. All right, two shields on the phantom for three on the E wing. So back to dials we go. Recloaks from the Phantoms. I think uh, Netter probably... I mean, he got points in that round, so that's definitely a win for him. This next round... He could definitely be a little more dodgy. Give Fifth Brother back his force point. And you can kind of block somebody in. Um, the 
four forward out of yellow to, I mean, you can just sort of get everything in here. Or you can bank and put a bunch of stuff in here. Probably looking at decloaks down and then one hards, one banks. There's the decloak. Ooh, decloaking forward. To the left and forward. This guy's got plans. <laughs> okay, it's the one forward to victory then. Not trying anything too crazy here. Just gonna... Roll some green dice and see what happens. Oh! Should be able to boost focus, yeah. Not even gonna focus, yeah. Alright. Doesn't need to. Well, if he's got arc, which it doesn't look like he does. Okay. Gonna shoot into green. Blank, blank focus. Spends it for one. No reason to keep it around. That damage card has no art. What? Okay. I, I don't know why they look like that. Down to one hull on green. There's a range one shot from Seventh Sister. So he can either spend his force points and not have them. Yeah, he's going to spend both. And that is a dead E-Wing. It's 
Spins the focus from Zeb for two hits. Sister loses a shield. Yeah, and I think these guys see their opportunity. Fire control and focus for three. Seven sister, two evades, takes one. That's half points on her. 22 to 55. Yellow into seven sister. Three dice, focus target lock. Spins the focus for hit, hit, crit. Spins the evade, takes hit, crit, and seven sister is dead. Fifty-five to forty-three. to dials, I guess. Three cloaks from the phantom. This is phantoms. these phantoms go One heart. <laughs> the phantoms essentially just trade positions here. The ease. Hard turn towards the phantoms. first bump. Only, well, actually two ships will be able to capitalize because of the turret arc. And we do have a ship that they all share in arc. It'll be yellow. Blue. 
blanks out. There's a range one from the Phantom Four Dice. No offensive mods in the yellow. One crit. This block paying off. Takes it on the shield. Hit, hit, crit. Now that's a good natty roll there. Natural roll. One of eight takes two half points on yellow. Can the rebels turn around and make it hurt? This is the injured phantom here's a range one dorsal three dice with a focus from zeb focuses for three nope that's the wrong one yeah okay they got it blanks out on the phantom Takes two. Now yellow should be able to finish it off. Ooh, red's got a shot, I think. Nope. Did red not have a shot? Here? I couldn't see the arc. Oh well. I'm sure he looked at it. Yellow. Into the pink phantom. Four dice, not three. And that is a dead phantom. Thank you, Mike, for catching that stress. Recloak on the blue phantom. All right, 40 minutes to go, 83 to 95. Brutal opening here. If you're going to decloak, it looks like the only option you have is down here. that decloak down towards the bottom oh the sloop though wow I like it oh the one hard from the phantom do you, do you cloak
Yep, goes for the cloak. Bank right from fifth brother. It's gonna go for a lock. Probably shoot this last homing missile. No defensive mods this time. Net are going to roll the homing missile. Two hits, two blanks, spins the lock. Gonna leave it right there, two hits. Two focuses takes it. And I think now you definitely add the crit. Yellow is dead. Nice homing missile from fifth brother. 95 to 110. Zeb and the red E-Wing versus a Phantom and fifth brother. Huh. Okay, Zeb gonna go Range 2 into 5th Brother. 2 natural hits. 5th Brother, no mods. Takes both. That's half points. E-Wing. Range 3. 3v4. Nothing. One twenty to one ten VP on top for now. Zeb is only three and one, so he can be one to two shotted, unlike the E wings. No more homing missiles, so that's something in VP's favor. Also, four starved fifth brother at this point. So I guess the only, well, you could decloak forward maybe, but it's more likely going to be back here. Decloak left and backwards stops Zeb from, probably stops Zeb from a hard turn. Let's look at that attack shuttle dial. Yeah, too hard. So might have to bank. Ooh, that's awful close to the board edge. Decloaked left and backwards. Okay. Does not block Zeb here. There's the one bank. And the focus. Four K from Fifth Brother. 4K from the Sigma. Fifth Brother has Zeb at range 3, but not the E-Wing. Zeb does have a focus back here, even though it's hard to see. Two blanks. Phantom's gonna shoot. Range three into Zeb. One hit. You 
got a lot less health on Zeb. Yeah. Spend it. Don't take anything. Ooh, crack shot, though. Ooh, forgot about that crack. Alright, three dice from the E-Wing, two hits. One evade, spins the evade, takes nothing. Oh, thinking about it. He's got shields. How bad does he want to recloak? Takes it on the shield in order to recloak. Netter's ready. How's VP feeling? There's the decloak. No evade this time. One forward from the red E wing. One bank from Zeb. Two banks in. Could barrel roll to get out of Zeb's arc. Actually, both. Yep. Arc dodge. Only one shot here for the rebels. Going to be this dorsal turret shot. There will be two into Zeb. Here's a range one. Hey, hit crit crit. That's pretty good. Zeb with two dice definitely taking one. Taking hit crit, taking crit crit. Two crits. Oh, oh, he suffers hits before crits. Hey, it is Zeb. That's right. That's what he do. like panic pilot. Yep. One hit. This is fifth brother. Range two. Out the side, Zeb into fifth brother. One hit. Fifth brother force points. He's got both. He's got two evades. Netter on top, 128 to 120. Does a fantastic job dodging arcs this round. Possible K turn here from the E. He's got a 4K. Sloops the other direction. Oh, 
All right, Netter says he's ready. VP. Wrong ship, dude. There's the 4K on red. Two hard turn from Zeb. Looking to block a possible one hard. Oof. Well, the Phantom's here, and it's got some things to say. Takes the Evade. See if that comes back to haunt him. Bump from Fifth Brother, so no shots there. Just the Phantom into Zeb, who's on one. Four v two. No mods for either. One hit. Needs one natural evade to live. Gets it. Ooh, that looked bad. No more crack shot. Ewing. Shoot into fifth brother. Still has both force points. Let me give those back. 3v3. Two hits. Two evades. Oh, yeah, Zeb, range one, into the Phantom. Two hits. One natural evade plus, well, he doesn't want to have to spin the force point. Spins the shield instead, one away from half. VP needs nine points to lead. Zeb dial again. One and two forward, one banks. He's got to move before this TIE fighter. It's TIE advanced. Let's see. Four, three, K turn again? We'll find out. D cloak to the left. Too hard from Zeb. Doesn't care about being stressed. Focus from the E-Wing. Too hard turn. Bumps from Fifth Brother. One bank. Bumps. <laughs> from the Phantom. Now the Phantom should have a shot into Zeb here. Range 2. 3v2. Nothing. Zeb. Range two ish. Let's see. Yeah, range two into fifth brother, I would assume. I'm gonna go into the Phantom this time. 2v2. One crit. Phantom. Gonna try not to spin the, the uh, evade token. Doesn't have to. One twenty eight to one twenty. Twenty three minutes to go.
DP ready to go. I'm gonna see a sloop, possibly. Decloak to the left. For the Phantom. Three hard. Boost, maybe linked action, target lock. Ooh, gonna target lock both. Nice. Goes for the barrel roll on the Phantom. Not gonna get shots into the E-Wing, but probably got some. Yeah, into Zeb. Gonna roll forward. Get two shots into Zeb. The E-Wing's gonna need another turn or two to get turned around. Hit crit. Zeb, two dice, no mods. Double natural evades. Are you joking? <laughs> Gets the exact roll he needs. Here's 2v3 from fifth brother. One hit. One natural evade now. Gets two. Wow. Zeb, range two, only shot he's got into the phantom one crit spins the evade cannot recloak that could make the e-wings life a little bit easier well Here's the two hard from Zeb, who has not taken an action in about four turns. I think he's just sacrificing himself. Takes a focus on the Phantom. Goes for a lock. Range one. Three dice into Zeb. 3v2. Zeb has no mods. Fifth Brother has a lot. And that will be enough to kill Zeb. One forty five to one twenty. Netter pulls ahead. Can the E Wing hold on to the shields at least? Hit crit crit. Ooh, the fire continues. Three dice for the E Wing. Not afraid to spin the focus, and there he has three of aids. No cloak from the Phantom. Is he gonna 4k? I don't hate that. Netter. Good guy, Netter. Turns off his firing arc. Goes for the sloop. I like that positioning. 
Hard turn from the Phantom. Does he have Arc? Barrel rolls away. Interesting. One bank. Huh. No shots for fifth brother. So the E-Wing's going to get the only shots uncontested. 3v3 into the Phantom. With a target lock. I think he was trying... Oh! Straight natties from the E-Wing. Can the Phantom natty out? Cannot! That is a dead Phantom! Oh, wow! 145 to 172. I think he was afraid of Fifth Brother dying, so he barrel rolled back to hold him and keep him out of range 3, and it ended up costing him his life. Oh, Netter says he thought he had a two straight out of fifth brother. Well, even if fifth brother shot, maybe it would have, maybe uh, the E-Wing would have tried to shoot fifth brother instead if it was closer. I don't doubt it. Takes a focus. Let's hope that this ship moved fast. I don't know that that's fast enough to arc dodge. And now the E-Wing has double mods with fire control system. Here's the two dice shot. Two natty hits from fifth brother. Three natty evades. Oh man. Get out of here. Spins the focus for hit hit. Spins a, a force point. Yeah, I like that. If a token force point, he's fine. Come on, Taco. You can't be trolling people in a tournament game. Come on, man. You do that in the Twitch chat. This is a sacred place. Sloop? Maybe? I don't think you can fit a 4K. Yep, there's the sloop. A one hard turn and a barrel roll? Nope, 4K. Here's the two dice attack from fifth brother. Not so lucky this time, one hit. Uh, I guess plenty of evades. I didn't actually see it. 3v3. Single modded this time. Oh my god. Fifth brother spins both force points, takes one, lives on one.
Oh man, 172 to 145. And there's so much more of this E-Wing to work through. Four forward. I forgot that was blue. He knows. You know what? Free target lock. Take it. Yeah. Goes for it. Smart. I like it. Good move. I accidentally hits undo. shouldn't be too hard to dodge. Well. That's a tough one, because it's... You could barrel roll and probably be out of arc and not get any shots. But how many turns can you go without taking shots? You got 12 minutes left. I mean, they're moving pretty fast. Oh. does have a shot here. Fire control, spin of force. One evade. Right. Ooh, the bump though. One seventy two to one forty five. You know what? Netter needs okay, Netter needs twenty eight points to lead, and half of an E Wing is twenty eight. Okay. I thought it would tie it up, and that would have been real sad. Talon roll. Gonna get a free range three. Fire control the focus into a blank. Oh, unlucky. Two natural evades anyway. Under 10 left in this game. What a crazy match. Both players. They're in uh they're in the hurry up offense. 4K for sure. No focus, unfortunately. Thinking about a boost focus. Oh, goes for the barrel roll. No, no, no. Sorry. Uh, VP's leading by 27. If he loses 28 points for half of his E-Wing, Netter will be in the lead by one point.
So he did a 4k, he could just 4 forward boost. He goes for the one bank. Hmm. Alright. One bank out of the Inquisitor could... Does the one bank boost? Yeah, that should get him shots. They might both have shots. It's a weird angle. Let's check that range. Range one. 3v3. Fire control. Two force points. Didn't link it, so he could have had a token there. Gonna fire control that one. Spin the force. Two natural evades. Looks like the Ewing's got no shot back. Yeah. Back to dials. Six minutes left. The Ewing, I mean, do you see another sloop coming there? K-turn. Does the Inquisitor dare boost in to get a couple of shields <laughs> off the E-Wing? Goes for the Evade. Ooh. Like the last time he did a defensive play like that, it didn't go too well, but it will be four greens versus three reds. Fire control, one of those. Nope. All right, both players ready to go. Five minutes left. There's the one forward. And the focus, can you fit like a two talent in there? I don't think so. One bank slips by but currently doesn't have arc. There's the boost, and back to dials. hard left and a boost 4k from fifth brother no shots back to dials hard in a focus. One bank from fifth brother. Takes the evade. He's got two force and a fire control. I'm gonna fire control the blank. Ugh. These fire control rolls are not working out for Netter. Takes a shield? No, sorry, he got one evade and it was one hit. That's right. Didn't need to take anything. Uh, three dice from the E-Wing back. Basically the same roll. Fire control, blank. Can he get a blank as well? No! Spins the focus for hit, hit, crit. He's got an evade. Spins it, takes nothing. Uh, takes one. That's a dead fifth brother I can count. GG! The E-Wing's... Remain undefeated. 6-0. and oh, They progress into the top eight.
What is this world? Congratulations to VP. Thanks to Netter for playing. Thanks to everybody for watching. Until next time, this is Scott from Hexiled Gaming. Signing off.